up tight You better keep an eye on your boys Lock em up Have my cake, I wanna eat it too Hey there! So today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different from my other videos, and we are going to talk about the one and only Tess Holiday. So just a little backstory with how I first heard about Tess Holidays. I used to be over 300 pounds, and this was probably in 2014, 15, I would say, and I had found her on Instagram. And I was really excited because, you know, being a woman at, 300 pounds and seeing somebody who was seemingly such a strong and confident person just putting their shit out there and looking amazing. It was really exciting for me at the time. So naturally, I started following her on Instagram and really enjoying everything that she was sharing. And this was before she was signed with the Milk Modeling Agency. Even at one point on Instagram, <laughs> I think I posted something having to do with body positivity. And she ended up liking it, and I think she commented on it too, which I was super excited about. So fast forward a couple years, and, you know, she's on some talk shows. She is well-known in the in main media, and you kind of start to see little snippets of who she actually is. Here I'm going to just throw in some videos of her in interviews and kind of show you what the content mainly is. When I go most places, no one looks like me. I wish that when... I can never celebrate a success in my career without it having being... without it being picked apart. Society is so afraid and, like, almost offended to see someone my size kind of living their life or wearing clothes that they shouldn't. And so um, it's no surprise that I would choose kind of, like, the most offensive term to describe my body. She always has such a negative undertone in everything that she is saying. And I understand that she has been through a lot in her life and she experienced abuse. Her mother was shot by her father. And, you know, I know bits and pieces of her background, but I think that when you are in a position of being somebody for people to look up to and to be proud of having as their voice in the media, it is so important to remain positive. Although she does use her background and her life story as a way to kind of push her through, you just always hear about the negativity. And I would love to hear different things women can do to feel empowered. And I know she does from time to time, but it seems to just be a lot about her and her life and she seems like a very self-centered person to me, and she seems very arrogant. And that brings me to the main point of this video. And there have been a couple other channels, a few other channels on YouTube, um, like Every Damn Day Fitness, who I have mentioned multiple times before, love his content, and the channel called My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You. So, you know, she just has had very poor behavior, and you know, a woman who had spent $500 to be styled by Tess Holiday, I think it was 500, maybe it was 700, um, to be styled by Tess Holiday personally, because this woman lost weight and was feeling good about herself and was feeling healthy, Tess Holiday saw that, unfollowed her on Instagram, and had the nerve to message her and tell her how much that post triggered her and offended her. Now tell me this if you are a person who is so confident, and you feel so good in the skin and the body you are in, and you don't feel threatened by other people, why would you feel the need to tear somebody down because of something they have accomplished for themselves and feel so happy and successful in something they've been probably trying to do for a long time? And the majority of my following is not plus size, it's very diverse. And so at the end of the day, we all have issues with our body and I'm sure Piers does as well. And, uh, you know, I think we could go a long way with a little bit of respect and kindness. I find what she said right there so ironic. I tried to do a little bit of digging, but I do know that on her Instagram and I think other social media outlets, when people say negative things, she will clap back at them. And I really have a hard time believing that somebody 
who feels great about themselves and their image wouldn't feel the need to do that. I think it's much more effective to lead by positivity instead of spreading the negativity and saying, well, you're gonna be an asshole, I'm gonna be an asshole back to you. I really don't believe in an eye for an eye. I will say this, Tess, you are a stunning woman. You are gorgeous. You don't have to worry about your looks. Obviously, I don't think you need anybody to tell you that. You are a model, a very well-known model at this point. I think that this is a case where we need to learn to separate people's appearances with health. I don't think that you can be healthy at every size. I think that eventually you are going to run into health risks. It is very irresponsible to broadcast to many young women out there who look up to you for being somebody that they could relate to a little bit more and to, to tell them that help that every size exists is incredibly irresponsible. You have no idea somebody's background, their genetics, what being 40 pounds overweight could do to their health. I don't know what you think you're doing. This is for all fat acceptance people who think that you can have health at every size. It is just not true. I can respect you as a human being. I can respect you for who you are and the things that you do for the people around you and who you love. And you are beautiful. You are beautiful as long as you treat people around you with kindness. And you go out into the world and you make a positive change. And you make that positive change for yourself so you can continue living that life. I think that there is no better benefit to living a healthy lifestyle than to live a long life and to be a positive influence. But I do feel very passionate about this. I really can feel for um, women who struggle with their weight and they struggle with their body image. But I think what we need right now in this world and what we should be focusing on is kindness and treating our bodies and our friends, family, neighbors, everybody with respect and kindness regardless of what they look like. I do think we need to encourage more healthy living, healthy eating, exercise, uh, while also learning to love the body that you are currently in. Obviously, we can't snap our fingers and be a completely different person and have whatever body that you want. That's not realistic. But be happy with yourself in the moment. Allow people to be happy with themselves in the moment. <laughs> I don't know. I think you get what I'm saying. I, Like I said, I'm very passionate about this. I make these videos on such a whim, and they're so messy and disorganized. But you know what, <laughs> that's just who I am. So maybe one day they'll get a little bit better. We'll see how this YouTube thing goes. It just sounded like fun one night. So um, yeah, I hope everybody has a good night or a good day or whatever it is. And I might delete this later. I don't know, feeling tired, might delete later, who knows. Please leave your comments about what you think about Tess Holiday and her negative attitude and her poor behavior. I just think that she seems like such a bitch, honestly. Um, I think that if she wasn't such a bitch, I don't know. I get so fed up with like this, oh, I'm a woman, so I can't be a bitch thing. You know what? We all get it. We all get it. Women can be bitches. That's fine. Men can be assholes. We all can be whatever we want. I think we need to just move on. Be a cool person. Live your damn life. Okay, bye.